everybody. Happy Saturday still. So I wanted to jump on and do a quick uh, first impressions video of a tobacco I've been wanting to try. And I've had this in my cellar for a year and a half or so. It's a sample. Um, Zach Four-Eyed Piper, my good friend there, sent it to me about a year and a half ago. And it's Strauss Sleepy Hollow. Fall Aromatic. Uh, Strauss is one, I think, the third oldest tobacconist brick and mortar in the country. And they only make this in the fall. So they only make it in October. Now, I do have an order in this year. Um, and some of you might say, hey, you've never tried it. Why would you order it? Well, it's it's a good enough blend that I know if I don't like it on, on the rare chance, which there's not a lot I don't like, but if I don't like it, that I could um, easily, easily trade it with somebody. Because it's got a big kind of a cult following, right? Busted out the old pirate mirror -er to give it a good old smoke. I think this is an Ollie. Yeah, that's an Ollie. Mirsham Depot, I believe. Pretty cool stem. Halloween color. Let's get into it. So the bag note, and you can see I got a nice sample. Really, I get a lot of vanilla. Get your whole head in there, right? Nice, sweet smell. Kind of a creamy vanilla. Reminiscent a little bit of the buttercream you get out of uh, Boswell's Cupcake. A little reminiscent of that. Just not as pronounced and not as no chocolate. Little hints of some pumpkin maybe and some cinnamon. Get this box that matches with. It is a little wet. So getting it going is a little tricky, but I will admit, tastes a little bit like fall if you put fall into a flavor. When I think fall, I think cinnamon. It's got some nice dry cinnamon, kind of on the back end. Vanilla. Vanilla's not really fall to me, but this has got some good vanilla in it. The aroma is fantastic. The room note. I don't like to clench my mirrors. Here. But nice, smooth, creamy, kind of a cinnamony, like a nice cinnamon. I don't want to say cider because that wouldn't be it. Maybe if you get one of those Mocha Joka Bullcrap drinks from uh, Starbucks, you know how they throw the cinnamon and all that junk in. I'm going to give up on the matches for a minute. But this is probably muted, you know, letting an aromatic set in the cellar. And it was it was in an airtight bag. It doesn't really do anything for aromatics to try to age them. In fact, they may lose flavor, some would say. And, and that may be the case here. Because it's not as strong as I envisioned it. Nonetheless, pleasant. That time I did maybe get a hit of pumpkin. Pumpkin's what a lot of people say they get. And I didn't pick that up. It's not very prevalent. Percolated coffee. Mm. Mm, that's good. Good with a good pipe. Finishing up a good book, yeah. So, I wanted to do this because, again, now they make, they're making it right now. 
So if you call Strauss, you can get on the waiting list. They make a batch or so a week. Uh, they'll charge you, take all your information, your shipping information, your card, and then once you, once, you know, you have to order it in four ounce increments, four, eight, 12, 16, whatever you want. Four is the minimum, kind of like LJ Peretti's Thanksgiving Day. Once they get the batch mixed up, they'll ship it out to you. Mm. Well, that was good. Nice sweet flavor. So that's Strauss Sleepy Hollow. Uh, you can only get it at Strauss. A lot of people make the mistake. They'll, they'll hear reviews and run to smoking pipes or tobacco pipes or another online. And no, this is a house blend from Strauss. You got to go to them. So you got to call. Uh, in fact, that's, that's one thing. You can't even really order it online. You have to call them or go to Cincinnati, Ohio, or Florence, Kentucky. They have two shops. But if you know anything, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Florence, Kentucky kind of are the same big old town, really. They're just different states. It's kind of the same, uh, to be honest with you. If you know anything about that area. Now, Luke made, Cincinnati Pepper may disagree with me, but I, I find it to be one large city. In fact, the Cincinnati Airport, I believe, is in Florence, Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. But we're off topic. Strauss Sleepy Hollow. Tasty. Is it worth it? Sure. Get you some. Um, again, don't wait around. Another week or two and they'll be done. They only do it in October. But nice, nice tones of fall. Just reminds you of a nice. It goes great with a cup of coffee. Anyhow, folks, there you have it. That's Strauss Sleepy Hollow. Nice, creamy. Pick up some dry cinnamon on the on the finish, and uh, I, I get a good bit of bit bit of uh, vanilla. The room note's fantastic. Worth it. Good, uh, good blend. Good blend by Strauss. So, anyhow, folks, I, I'd give that a double thumbs up. Strauss Sleepy Hollow. It, you know, it's an aromatic. Um, it's a good aromatic. Good change of pace. Good different flavors. Give them a shout out. Now, take care of yourselves. We'll catch you later today. Wash your damn hands. Have a good day, everybody.